Since I started painting, I really struggled with painting sunflowers, the color, the shadows have been so difficult to portray, but with some practice and learning, I've been able to paint them a little better, I think. So I wanted to share with you how I paint them in the most beautiful and organic way. First, I start by finding a reference picture. I love to use multiple so I can draw the perfect thing for me. Uh, so before starting, you have to analyze your pictures and your sunflowers and to draw them really well. The most important thing is to know where the light is coming from. Uh, if the light is coming from the left, so the left side is going to be lighter and the right side is going to have the shadows and darker colors. That way, when you're drawing, you know exactly how to draw them and where the light is coming from and what's hidden, what's what's facing the light, etc, etc. That really helps a lot and that's something you need to know. The light source is very important. First, I like to start by putting the paints on my palette, a completely clean palette. Yellow is a very sensitive color. Um, so the colors that I'm going to use is New Gamboge, Lemon Yellow, and Raw Umber with Ultramarine and other colors that are just in the background. Ultramarine, um, alizarin crimson etc also i like to make a color chart so i can be sure of the colors that i'm going to use and what to mix exactly then i move to the first layer that i like to paint either with wet on wet which is what you just saw right now i put some clear water on the on the petal and then with a little bit of, of lemon yellow over it this is the first layer it's very thin very 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 light colors um Another thing is I like to keep highlights on the petal. There are, there are areas in some petals that are facing the light. That's why I told you the, the light source is very important. So the, the petals that are facing the light, I like to keep um, white areas that are completely white for the highlights, meaning the transparency and that the light is hitting them so that it's more natural. and if it's too dark if you add too much color you just swipe a wipe it with some fab some fabric some tissue or whatever uh then i keep doing the same thing again and again either with wet on wet or directly and then the center of the sunflower i do a base of yellow new gamboge and lemon yellow and then i go over it with either burnt umber raw umber or some green here I'm moving on to the leaves. Again, same thing with wet on wet. I uh, put a layer of clear water, then a layer of green. Here I use the sap green with some red. Um, I think adding red to your green uh, really helps it become more natural and less artificial green, just like a little more natural. Also some ultramarine so sap green alizarin crimson and ultramarine these three really give you a beautiful beautiful organic natural looking green and i really love it once the first layer is completely dry i move on to the second layer where the areas that are a little darker i mix lemon yellow with purple this is a magic mix for darker yellows it really really gives you a beautiful fresh darker yellow that i really enjoyed that i find very very helpful for the darker areas of the sunflower so yellow with purple is a beautiful beautiful darker yellow for the areas that are dark after i added the details to the sunflowers and uh, painted the middle of the sunflower with burnt umber and darker browns and left the sides where the light is hitting uh really light i'm gonna come to paint the vase the face the vase how do you pronounce it anyways so the vase i used the wet on wet technique as always and i left some spots in the vase that are gonna be completely white that's where the the light hits here the light is hitting from the left so you see that uh white spot that i left completely white so i'm gonna uh paint the first layer that is completely the same value um, 
no darker areas, just the same light value throughout the entire vase. And then I let that one dry. So the colors that I used here is French Ultramarine, Ultramarine, and Violet. Uh, I add Violet to my blue so that it's a little more interesting and less boring. And it gives like a beautiful um, purple color. Once the first layer is dry, I paint the second layer, which is more opaque and a little darker. The side that is on the right, which is opposite to the light source, is going to be the darker one. And then the, the left side is going to be the lighter one with the lighter blue. <laughs> 